Hello everyone, welcome to PRP Coding YouTube channel. I am Praveen Ravindran Pillai. In this session, I shall explain about the improvements in auth and identity in ASP.NET Core 8. So, let's start. I have created an ASP.NET Core Web API project and it is opened in my VS Code editor. If I click on this project here, you can see that the target framework is set to .NET 8. This project is configured to use Entity Framework Core in memory database. For that, I have installed the packages Microsoft.Entity Framework Core and Microsoft.Entity Framework Core in memory. Then I have added the Identity NuGet package to manage users, passwords, profile data, roles, claims, tokens, email confirmation, and more. In the program.cs, I have configured the Identity DB context to use the in-memory database, and it is added to the services collection. Then I have created a minimal API endpoint with a route welcome and it is returning a string welcome to PRP coding. Okay, so now let me go and configure the authentication and authorization service for our project. For that, I can say builder.services.add authentication. Now, prior to .NET 8, there is no built-in support for token-based authentication and authorization with ASP.NET Core identity. For that, Developers had to rely on third-party NuGet packages like JWT Bearer. .NET 8 now supports token-based authentication and authorization with ASP.NET Core identity. For that, we can use .add bearer token and specify a authentication scheme here. For that, I can say identity constants dot bearer scheme. Now. One very important point to note here is that this token is not a JWT token. This is a Microsoft generated token. Okay, now let me go and configure the authorization service. So for that, I can say builder.services.add authorization builder. Okay, that's it. So we have configured the authentication and authorization for our project. Okay. So now we need to configure identity to use the entity framework or database and expose the identity endpoints. Uh, for that, let me paste the code here. And here you can see builder.services.add identity core. And here I have specified the user as the identity user, then dot add entity framework stores. And here I have specified the database context as the identity DB context. And then I have exposed the API endpoints by using the dot add API endpoints. Now, we need to go and map the routes for the identity endpoints. Prior to .NET 8, developers had to write code to map the routes for the identity endpoints and then use the built-in sign-in manager and user manager services for registration, login, forgot password, change password, and so on. Developers used to write a lot of code. In .NET 8, mapping the routes for identity endpoints can be achieved by using a single line of code. Just add the code app.map identity API and specify the identity user. That's it. So this will go and add endpoints for registration, login, forgot password, change password, and so on. So everything is taken care of by the ASP.NET Core identity. Now, the last thing that we need to do is to add the authorization for this endpoints. Okay, for that, let me add dot require authorization. Now let me go and run this application and test these endpoints. I mean the welcome endpoint and the identity API endpoints via Postman. The application is building and here you can see that it is listening in port number 5000. Now let me switch to Postman. And here you can see that I have created a Postman collection named Imrood auth with three requests, register, welcome, and login. So let me click on the welcome endpoint, close this. And this is a get method, HTTP localhost 5000 slash welcome. So let me click on the send button. And here you can see that we are getting 404 unauthorized. That is because in program.cs in the map get welcome endpoint, we have added require authorization. So it is expecting a token in the header. Okay, for that, let me go and register a user. So let me click on the register endpoint. This is a post method, HTTP localhost 5000 slash register. And if I click on the body, here I have added email as prp at prptraining.com and password prptraining at 12345. Now let me click on the send button. So here you can see that the status is 200. Okay, now let me log in. 
And here, this is a localhost 5000 slash login. And in the body, here I have passed email as prp at prptraining.com, password prptraining at 12345. Now let me click on this send button. Yes, it is a 200 status OK request. And here we got the token type as bearer and we received an access token. And if I scroll down here, you can see that it got a expires in 3600 and a refresh token as well. Now let me take this access token okay uh, let me copy this access token and let me go to the welcome endpoint and in the authorization i will set the type as bearer token and paste the token here now let me click on the send button now and here you can see that welcome to prp coding so everything is working as expected now if you look at the program.cs here you can see that i have added only one api endpoint with a route welcome but from the postman, we are able to access the register endpoint as well as the login endpoint. So from where these endpoints are coming from? Actually, it is coming from this single line of code app.mapidentityapi. This single line of code has added the identity endpoints in our application. One more thing I would like to demonstrate is that here I have used welcome to PRP coding, which is a hard coded message. Now, I want welcome to whatever is the username that is registered in our application for example whoever is logging in that username should be printed over here so for that i can use the claims principle claims principle and here i can say uh, let me use dollar symbol here and instead of welcome to prp coding i can say claims principle dot identity dot name okay so here let me make it as nullable okay now let me refresh this application okay and let me switch to the uh, registration endpoint again since it is using uh, in memory database so all the data will be lost so let me try to do the registration once again let me click on the send okay now let me log in and let me click on the send here. Yes, the login is successful. Now let me copy this uh, access token. Copy that. Let me go to the welcome. And in authorization, where a token, let me paste this token over here and let me click on the send button. And this time you can see welcome to prp at prptraining.com. So this is all about improvements to auth and identity in ASP.NET Core 8. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next updates. Thank you.